Oh, you know what? I have the potential to get myself killed, so... <laughs> Let's do a save point first. Okay. Ouch! Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to do some shopping um, so that we can improve some of our gear for more efficient resource gathering. Uh, my immediate goal um, or short term goal I guess I should say is we still need a bunch of salvage data. I've done some stuff around the base. I increased the, the walls to a too high wall instead of using the, the half walls so that way I could put stairwells up to the roof, stuff like that. Uh, done, done a little bit of um, just basic resource gathering, but I haven't really gone out and gotten salvage data in earnest, which we need to do in order to, you know, get unlock the stuff that we need to unlock. Uh, but before we do that, I want to uh, improve a few things with our gear to, so that we can then be more efficient at gathering the resources. So let's start with the Starship um, upgrades here. Uh, we are sitting on 4,741 nanites, by the way, so we have some some stuff to spend. What I'm after here primarily for now is I want to get these uh, auto-charge launchers. So we have to get efficient thrusters first, and then we'll go back in here. I wish it wouldn't pop us out of the menu every time we buy something. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, and then we want to get the launch auto-charger, 460 nanites. But what this will do is it'll trickle charge the launch thruster and uh, fill it back up for us automatically, which is wonderful. Okay, let's go over to Celine, the uh, exosuit individual, lizard, lady, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> and I'm interested in getting a couple of these jetpack modules. Uh, so the neural stimulator, we actually already have, a, an, I think a better version of this, but we still have to research this in order to unlock the airburst engine, which is what I want. Okay, so let's do that. I don't know if we can stack those items either. Uh, if you can have two of the same exact type of thing and stack them, I'm not sure. But this is what I want. Uh, this is basically going to allow us to recharge uh, the jetpack even while we're using it at, in a limited capacity, which is going to translate into you know longer uh, distances that we can use. Um, and then I also want to get this uh, these rocket boots, which allows us to... Uh, it says advanced jump capabilities, so I'm assuming we can just jump higher or farther, that kind of thing. Okay, we'll get that. Um, the other one that's there is a an aquatic um, jetpack thingy. I'm interested in that, but not right now. Um, we're we're going to want to get the aeration membrane and the aquatic thing and some of that stuff later, but uh, for the moment, I think that's all we're going to get for our exosuit stuff. Right, now let's go over here. And we want to talk to this individual, and we're going to get the optical laser mining thingamadoodle for our our uh, the optical drill, which is going to basically give us 50% more yield, uh, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, so I think that's all we want for upgrades. Uh, oh, you know what? There was actually one other thing I wanted to get. Uh, well, no, there are a couple things over here I wanted to get. We didn't, you know, I don't think we ever looked at this. What is this? Uh, it's just a little Class C weapon. Nine slots, we have ten, yeah. Nope, we're not interested in that. Okay, uh, let's go to the Synthesis Laboratory. There's a few component items we're going to need to research here. I want to get this Star Shield battery, because A, it'll recharge our Starship shields much more quickly, but and we can also manufacture it in space, because it takes tritium and gold. Um, so we're going to learn that. And then we're also going to need hydraulic wiring. We're going to need processors and quantum uh, computers. We're going to need magnetic resonators. We're going to need solar mirrors. This is all, you know, intermediate component stuff that we need uh, to make, some, you know, some of these better items. We already know unstable plasma. Uh, what does that cost? 250 nanites? Yeah, we might as well learn it. We're going to need it. And we'll learn this amino thingamadoodle too. Get all that stuff unlocked and then we have it. Okay, so all that stuff's unlocked. If we wanted to, we could also get a version 2 Atlas Pass, but we need Cadmium, which I don't have yet. So I think we'll hold off on that for the moment. Okay, um, let's go back over to Starship Upgrades for a second. And I want to look at 
potentially a couple more things here. I'm, I'm not really sure what is considered, you know, the, the best weapons. Uh, I do want large rocket tubes. So we're basically at 20% heat recovery, which means we can fire them more frequently. So we're going to get that for sure. And we already have our rockets installed in our in our super turbo slot or whatever it's called. Uh, so they're already more effective just because of that. Uh, so anyway, I'm not sure which of these weapons are the good ones or how situational they are. So if you guys let me know in the comments, if you like the phase beam, the positron ejector, the, the infra knife, which I do have a class C upgrade that we just found, or the cyclotron ballista. Um, this is probably like for, for taking down big ships, it looks like. This is a rapid fire starship. It's extremely effective against unshielded starship hulls. Okay, so you take your shield down and then switch to that. Um, this is capable of extreme destruction. Oh yeah, that's right. This is like the shotgun thingy. Uh, high energy beam for ship to ship combat. Vulnerable to overheating. Can recharge the user's shields by leeching. Oh, that could be useful. Yeah. All right. So it, it sounds like these are all you know situationally useful. Um, but let me know what you like or what combination you like and why. Uh, I'd be interested to hear from you. Okay, so let's see. What else would, might we be interested in? We are going to need these drives to get to the, the colored star systems. Um, we have 651 nanite clusters left. Why don't we go ahead and just learn these now because that way we'll have them. Go back into here. We'll get the emerald drive and we'll get the iridium drive. Okay, and let's go back into here again. That leaves us with 251 nanite clusters left. I think so we got all those drives there. What does this do? Instability drive. Okay, that just gives us more efficiency with the pulse drive. Okay, uh, I think that's all we're going to mess with for now with that. I I think we were done with exosuit stuff. So yeah, let's uh, let's call that good until we get another big ginormous batch of nanites. Let's go talk to these uh, vendor people over here to get a few more nanites. I, I think I've hit one more milestone since the last time I talked to Helios here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That gives us uh, another 105 nanites. Nice. Okay, and then we'll talk to Ares here. Transmit milestone uh, data. And that gives us another 50 nanites. Okay. I'm not going to sell my salvage data to him because I think we only get like 50 nanites and we need to accumulate that for other things. So. Okay, I believe we are finished here now at um, the Anomaly. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to go out into... Oh, that is a cool looking ship. Look at that thing. That's the back of it, right? Ooh, I want one of those. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll be able to own one someday. Uh, anyway, what I want to do now is I want to go and... Um, Harvest a little bit more, you know, gold and stuff, because I think we're going to need some gold to make some of these items. And uh, I'll just keep the anomaly close to me in case we, you know, get hostiles, which we will. Um, these uh, spiky spike asteroids give us platinum and gold, so we'll be going after those. And, yeah, just kind of get some stuff farmed up. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to do, too, is uh, we don't have any tritium. Let's see. Yeah, I want to make these. So I'm going to I'm gonna make a couple of these so we have them. Uh, but I also want to, like I said, accumulate uh, a bunch of gold too. Uh, so I will bring you guys back when we're ready to move on to the next thing. I'm just going to harvest some gold here for a bit. All right, guys. Um, we just got the uh, distress signal about the freighter being under attack. If we can manage to pull this off, even though we're not really in the, an ideal ship for it, then we have a chance of getting a, a free freighter. So let's uh, let's give this a try. And maybe what I'll do is I'll pull the anomaly uh, close, close to the event, so that way we can get away if we need to. 
Also, let me look at something here. 26% shield strength. Okay. Uh, so I managed to make four star shield batteries. Um, if we could get six more gold, we could make a fifth one. So why don't we do that? That shouldn't take me too long. And we'll go uh, see if we can rescue this starship, uh, this freighter ship. Okay, there's six gold right there, so that should be enough for us to make one more of these. Okay, so that gives us five recharges. Okay, so let's see. Where is this guy at? He's... Over here somewhere. Uh... There, right there, okay. So let's get close, and I also want to make sure that we are, will that stay, whoops, stay on there, on the recharge, no, it flips back to the galaxy, alright, well, we're going to have to just, oh, wait a minute, hold on a second, hold on a second, we have a quick bind, um, can we quick bind this, this is what we want to bind, zero through nine, Oh, control zero. Okay, good. So that way we don't got to futz around with that menu. We just press control zero to recharge. That's going to help a lot. Uh, okay, so um, let me look at this one more time before we engage here. I want to make sure pulse engines are completely full. Okay, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Uh, so let's get close. And then I'm going to call the anomaly. close by so we can run away to it like a chicken if we need to and let's see if we can uh, mix it up with these guys here I remember before where you had to be careful that you didn't um, Get the the main freighter ship, um, but that could sometimes be very difficult to not do. So I don't know if they've changed that so it doesn't matter anymore. All right, he's down. Doing okay so far on our shields. Just gotta get the lock on another bad guy here. Come on, where'd you go? There's there's gotta be like a target selection option in this game, I would think, right? Here we go. Oh no. Right there. Okay. Alright, let's do control L um O. Let's not take any chances here. We'll get recharged. And I gotta get a beat on these guys. My ship, part of the problem with my ship, you know, it's a freighter, right? Uh, is that it's just not very maneuverable, so it takes a while to... Uh, you know, to get position and stuff. Weapon system still overheated? Okay, let's go back to pulse lasers then. He's almost down anyway. Okay. Alright, we did it. Yay us. Okay, now we go speak to the captain. Um here, let's um do the communicator. Me unzi life form up. The life form who must be the captain of this freighter looks greatly relieved. They gesture as if to welcome me aboard their vessel. In communication. Okay. Um, so... Where do we go? Is 
Here we go. Okay. We need to go up this way, maybe? Remember right, I think I made it might have had a class A freighter in my last playthrough. Don't remember for sure what class it was. Okay, let's go talk to this dude and see what we got here. Moscow -y. Skaz Avraga blah blah. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Lights flicker rapidly across the life forms visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude. They gesture towards the control panel of their freighter as if to suggest I take command. Inspect uh, freighter. Ah, shoot. It's a class C freighter. Um, alright. If we... We would get 6.3 mil if we just... Well, I think that's what we would get if we just get payment instead. I, I don't think I want a Class C freighter. I know, I know we're going to have op more opportunities for these encounters later on. Because um, once we get a good freighter, a decent one, you know, it's going to become our base. And I don't know if I want to go to all the blood, sweat, and tears of setting up a base on a Class C freighter. Uh, it's missing a whole bunch of cargo slots and technology slots. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to get some money from this. Request payment instead. And we get some standing from Corvax. We get 235 nanites. We get, oh, wow. We get a crap ton of gold. Nice. That's going to come in handy. Okay. Yeah, I think that was definitely worth the, the effort to do. So, like I said, we'll come across better freighters later on. I just, I, I don't, I don't think that I want to mess with a Class C freighter. Uh, if that's a mistake, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but, yeah. Uh, oh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> I'm lost now. No, not that way. I must have gone through the wrong door. Yeah, okay, so let's come back and go through here, maybe? This looks right. Yep. Where's my ship? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so we just got a crap ton of gold from that deal. Um... Yeah, nice. Plus, uh, in the starship, I have, you know, uh, these gold nuggets, too. So that's probably enough for us to do what we need to do. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take off, and we're going to go down to... Uh, well, hmm, let's go to the space station, because we're going to need to buy some wiring looms. We'll do that first. And then we can go down to the spaceport on our planet... To get more stuff if we need to but I'd rather manufacture the the other items as opposed to paying for them um, that way you know we're not spending like all of our money okay so let's pop up here and we want to go over here to the terminal Okay, so, yeah, we need wiring looms. It looks like there's a demand for them, so that means they're probably a little more expensive than normal, but it is what it is. So let's, before we just start buying those left and right, let's determine how many we're going to actually need. So for the exosuit, we want to do the upgrade to the, uh, to these guys, okay? So, oh, none of those require wiring looms. Does the hydraulic wiring 
require wiring looms. It does not. Okay, all that stuff we can make. Okay, so we're good uh, on all of the exosuit upgrades without having to buy anything. The Starship, we wanted to get the... Uh, definitely want to get the two fuel thruster things, but um, I'd like to get this teleport thing and maybe the large tubes as well. So this is going to require two wiring looms and a solar mirror. That's going to require two wiring looms. That's going to require three wiring looms, so we're up to seven. And this will require two, so we're up to nine. So we're going to need one. I'm not, I'm not going to make these right now. Uh, we'll worry about those later. So we need nine wire, wiring looms in total to make all that stuff. And then for this solar mirror, does that require wiring looms? It does not. Okay. All that stuff we can do. We have silver on our planet too, by the way, so we have lots of silver. Okay, so we're, we need nine wiring looms, and then for the multi-two, which is the optical drill, um, we need five more. So we need a total of 14 wiring looms to make all of this stuff. That's going to be expensive. But as far as I know, we can't make wiring looms. Uh, maybe you can later on, but we, we at this point in time can't make them. So uh, we're just going to have to buy them. So 14 was the magic number, huh? Okay, um, yeah, that's going to cost us 861,718 units. We've got to do what we got to do, though. There goes our money down. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good, man. It's all good. All right, cool. So we are in good shape now. Uh, I think I already looted all that stuff. I'm trying to think. Uh, we can just take the teleporter back down to the base, so let's do that next. Oh, we teleported to the spaceport base. <laughs> and our ship is in... Wait a minute. Uh, am I, are we going to be able to get out of here without getting busted up? Why did it park the ship there? Maybe it's because of where I put the base locator. Oh, man, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay. We are good. Um, all right. You know what I want to do then is let's actually land back down here for a second. And just look at the market real quick. Because I, I think the markets down here are different than the ones up in the space station. Maybe not the pricing, but you can get different stuff. Ammonia dioxide, microprocessors. Yeah, they don't even have wiring looms here. Interesting. Okay. Um... Okay, let's... Where am I at? I'm up here. There's a, a couple of outposts or trading places. I think this is actually maybe called an outpost here. I don't know. Uh, nearby. Let's go check those really quick, too. So just right over here. Yeah, there's one that's right over here. And I think there's even another one, too, that's close by. We've already looked at this weapon, right? Yeah, it's just a little Class C. Not interesting. There you go. Get some units and some nanites. Um, and we want to talk to Great Terminal. Okay, no wiring looms here. However, we could just buy the quantum computer and hydraulic wiring. 
That would be 10,000, and that would be 11.6. How, um, how expensive are those to make, though? Microprocessor, antimatter, and chromatic metal. This isn't that expensive to make at all. And really, this isn't that expensive either. Yeah, let's just make that stuff. Let's not buy it if we don't have to. I just wanted to check the prices, though, anyway, just, just to do it. Now there's, I think there's another one of these places really close by. It's not there. Oh yeah, it is there. No, 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 that's not a, well, actually, does that have a trade terminal? Let's find out. Pretty sure it doesn't. this stuff though. Oh, it does. Okay. Yes, it does. This looks like it's the same stuff that the other one had, so maybe all the planet side ones have all the same thing. That's actually a little cheaper than the other one was though. Okay. Fair enough. I know I looked at this too and wasn't super impressed with it. It's a, it is a class B. It would cost us 3.1 million. It's got a super slot on it or hyper slot or whatever those are called. And 24 slots. So it would definitely be better in, in terms of just more slots, but uh not not interested in that for now. Okay. Oh right, we can make um we can make an Atlas Pass. What do we need to do that? Just copper and microprocessor. Okay, we'll do that when we get back to the base, if I remember. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our base and uh, get started with some of these upgrades. Home sweet home. Okay, so, yeah, so I added uh, another another uh, layer of walls, as you can see, to, to raise the roof. I put the uh, power generator thingy down here, and it's going to need some more of that. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It's good. And I think that's really all I've done uh, on the base, just increase the length. And the reason I went with two full-size walls is for, for stairs, because I didn't see in the menu that there were like half height stairs. And so if we would have put a half wall on there, then we would have had a weird issue with stairs. Maybe it, maybe there are, but it wasn't apparent. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is let's go ahead and uh, do the upgrade to our... Uh, we'll put that optical drill thingy on. So we need to make three quantum computers and three solar mirrors. Okay. So let's see. For that, we're going to need... Let's pin this. Oh, so when we pin it, does it... Oh, we still have to go into the menu to look at it, though, huh? Okay, that's weird. All right, so three quantum computers and three solar mirrors. So we're going to need uh, uh, three microprocessors and three antimatter. And for that, we need chromatic, metal, and carbon nanotubes. Tubes. Okay, so let's grab all of the chromatic metal we currently have. Let's grab all of the carbon we currently have.
and uh, let's grab all the microprocessors and we'll, we'll grab this metal plating too because we're probably going to need that. Okay, so we have the three microprocessors. Good. Um, so what we were working on first, I think we were going to, yeah, we're going to work on the quantum computer. So now we need three antimatter. Okay. Yeah, to make that... Why isn't antimatter showing up as an option? Warp cell. Wait, what? I know how to make antimatter. Why can't I make antimatter? Do I have to make that in the starship? Yeah, okay. I guess I have to make it in the starship. So we need condensed carbon for that. All right. So we'll grab the condensed carbon. I thought I could make that in my own inventory, but apparently we cannot do that. Okay, so we need three of these. And that should then allow us to make our first solar mirror. Oh, all three of them, right. Okay. Okay, so that's the three solar mirrors. Let's go back to here again for a second. Um, okay, now we need to make the three quantum computers. Okay, back to here. Actually, I guess the, it doesn't matter. I was going to make those first, but we'll make the quantums next. Oh, do we have enough? How many can we make? Wait a minute. Oh, the solar mirrors are here. Okay, I was confused. Uh, so we need to make one more of these. Okay, does that give us everything now? It does. Fantastic. Okay. Now, we need to change places with th this. So, move technology. Uh-oh. How do I, um... How do I get it over there? Choose slot to move technology. S oh, store technology. Okay. Gotcha. Now, move technology. We want that next to our drill so we're getting the full benefit of all of them, right? Because if we put it down here, we don't have the highlight. But if we put it here, then we have the highlight. Nice. Okay. Advanced mining laser. So 50% resources, 15% mining speed, plus the ability to do advanced stuff in... Heat dispersion, fuel efficiency, overheat, downtime, and mining speed are here, too. So we got a pretty good setup now uh, with those add-ons for mining. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of the optical drill. Uh, next, I think I want to work on my exosuit uh, backpack thingies. Oh, and this we want to put back uh, install uh, into here. Irregular shells. Irregular high capacity shells. All right, and that's it. We are maxed out. <coughs> excuse me, maxed out on our multi-tool. <coughs> so we need to start thinking about um, upgrading to something a little bit better. Uh, but it'll do for now. Cool. Now let's go to our exosuit, and the next thing we want to do is we want to make our jump jet stuff. So let's do this. Why don't we take we have four jump jet modules in total. So I'm going to move this over to here. And that over to there. Let's move these down here. We'll put this up here and that up there. And that way we have slots for the jump jet modules in our suit. 
Okay, so we want Let's do the super first. So we need phosphorus, oxygen, and more chromatic metal. Is that enough phosphorus? I hope so. Yes, it is. Okay. Phew. Because I don't have very much of that. We'd have to go back to that super hot planet to get more of it. Uh, which we could do if we had to. Okay. Um, what else did we need? Phosphorus and... Oh, for goodness sakes. I forgot already. Phosphorus. Oh, oxygen. And, and then we're going to have to make some more chromatic metal. So let's just grab some copper out of there. And grab some oxygen. And we're going to throw some copper into here. And we'll put some... Wait a minute, though. I don't want to use up all my carbon. We're going to need... Oh, none of that needs carbon. That needs condensed carbon. What does hydraulic wiring require? Doesn't need carbon either. Okay. So we'll just use normal carbon in here. And of course, you're not going to always get more, too. Okay, so we'll make some more chromatic metal. We'll have to wait for that to finish, and then we should be able to do that first jump jet. Uh, this one here. What does this one require? That also will require chromatic. And this one requires tritium and hydraulic wiring. So let's make a hydraulic wiring. Um, we need salt and dihydrogen and two carbon nanotubes. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back. Two of those. Um, get some dihydrogen and some salt. How many of those did it say we needed? Oh, just one. Okay, good. So one hydraulic wiring. And now we should be able to make the rocket boots. Nice. Okay, so we got the rocket boots. And now we're just waiting on chromatic metal and chromatic metal for those two. Let's pull out what we currently have. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want. I want this. One of the first things we're going to do when we get more uh, salvage data is we're going to upgrade to the larger refiners. Okay, yeah, so let's just grab this. Let that finish up. Okay, so now we should have enough to do this. And do we have enough to do this? Nope, we need a little more chromatic metal. So we're gonna have to grab some more copper out of here. Oh, I guess I still had copper in there. The stack size in the container is different than the stack size in your own inventory. Okay, so we'll just wait for that to finish and then we'll be as upgraded as we can with our current modules on our exosuit. That's actually a nice a nice thing. Um, it says watery harvester. Does that mean it only works underwater? The sinister purple light. The seepy nanite foam floods the module targeting shield strength and sprint distance. It doesn't say anything about having to be underwater. So I think we must have picked that up off of a, a drone that we killed or a sentinel. Okay, that's probably enough. Nope, we need six more. <laughs> Almost enough. There we go, now we have enough. Just let, let the rest of that cook up. Boom! Oh, nice, man. Okay, we've made some nice upgrades to our jetpack. Let's go test these out. Oh, you know what? 
I have the potential to get myself killed, so <laughs> let's do a save point first. Okay. So if we just do a... Didn't hit that quite right. Ouch! Okay. <laughs> um, let's let that recharge. Now, just for jumping. So just for a straight up jump, uh, that's how high we can go. Now, let's do another uh, fast launch jump thingy. Seems like there's a little bit of a delay there. So, I think it's supposed to charge, just start charging when I'm falling. So, here, let's do this. Let's do another straight up into the air thing. Okay, let's stop there. Yeah, it looked like it barely started coming back okay well that gives us some um, better life support or uh, better uh, jetpack action which will help you know from you know just getting around faster and stuff uh, recharge equipment let's use dioxide for that Very good. Now, uh, next we want to do our starship upgrades. So, we have plenty of room here, which is good. Why don't we move our launch thruster down to here? And we'll just put... Oh, no, we want to keep that there because that's our, our super supercharged slot. But that gives us one, two, three spots that we can... Oh, oh actually four to keep things together. Okay. So, um, we want to make this first. So we need two solar mirrors and five antimatters. So for antimatter, uh, man, we're going to need 125 chromatic metal to make those. Okay, so let's see. Let's grab some more copper out of here. And I'm just going to... Oh, wait, no, that was activated copper. We don't want that. All right, I'm going to cook up uh, at least 125 chromatic metal to make all of this. Why won't that start? Oh, I have to remove that. Okay. So I will bring you guys back once I have uh, that done and then we'll proceed. All right. We should have enough now to finish these. So let's go to Starship. And we want to make the... Oh, I need to make uh, five more antimatter first. Uh, and I can now make antimatter in my suit. I don't know why I wasn't able to before. Or maybe I was and I was just missing it. I'm not sure. But I can now, so... We need four more of these. There we go. And now... Um... Oh, wait. Exosuit. Yeah. See, I can make it in the exosuit. But... Again, I either missed it before or it wasn't showing up for some weird reason. Okay, now we can make the auto charger. Cool. And we can also, should also be able to make this efficient thrusters. Um, yep, we got everything we need for that. So this will cause us to 20% uh, less launch cost and this will recharge our launch uh, launcher over time. I love it. Absolutely phantasmagorically love it. Um, here, let's... Yeah, let's recharge that with some uranium. 
Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we are in good shape for going out and just getting a metric butt ton of, um, uh, of salvage data so that we can then start unlocking some other things. Oh, I've got more. Wait, what's that? Cargo bulkhead. Auto expanding freighter module. Where do they get that at? Hmm. Maybe I got that as a reward. I don't know, but we'll just store that for now. Uh, but anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend um, more time off camera and I'm just going to go around and gather salvage data like there's no tomorrow. And with those improvements that we made, um, that should um, help us quite a bit uh, with getting the salvage data so that we can get the upgrades that we want to get. So I'm going to put some of this stuff back away. Oh, the other, you know, the, probably maybe even more importantly than the refiners, I want to get another storage container and we need salvage data for that too uh, so that we have more room to store stuff because we're starting to run out of space in here um before i let you go i want to do a couple of things actually before i let you go um let's go here and i have i want to get rid of these two things because they're taking up space so this will give us accordance uh, of a distress signal which could be another ship an abandoned building okay so we'll check that out at some point and what is this one this is an inhabited outpost hopefully it doesn't detect the ones I already know about because <laughs> they're close by we'll see a minor settlement detected actually you know what I think yeah, I think the settlements are the small ones and the outposts are what I've been calling the spaceports. That's probably the way that works. Okay, so that just freed up a couple more inventory slots and we can investigate that stuff uh, later on. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of this stuff away. Why do I have five more wiring looms? Did I forget to do something? Um, oh, right, we wanted, to, we wanted to build this. And, and we wanted to make the large rocket tube. Okay, here, let's do that now while I still have you. We're going to need more chromatic metal. I'm going to have to go do some more copper. Uh, oh, am I out of copper? Yeah, I'm getting super low on copper, so I'm going to have to go mine some more copper too. Well, let's see if we have enough that we can at least... Um, make one more of these things that's activated copper oh I think I am out of copper that's pyrite yeah we've we've completely burned up all the rest of our copper okay so then I'll probably just work on these off camera too but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, install the uh, the teleport receiver and that's just going to require one antimatter so that'll be very easy to do and then that lets us transfer stuff between the ship from long distances and I'm also going to do the large rocket tubes um, and have to make four unstable plasma for that so I'll probably do both of those off camera um, and get those in place so that way you know our ship's in as good a shape as it can be in and we have room uh, for the rocket launcher here and I don't think we have to install the, the uh, this thingy next to anything, as far as I know. Uh, but definitely want to install the large rocket tubes next to the rocket launcher. Uh, okay, guys. I think we're in good shape. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. When I come back in the next episode, I hope to have a whole mess of salvage data. And then we will go unlock some critical things that we need, like the large refiner and more storage and things like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.